Good evening. This is Tanja Pink, 2005, and it is Sunday. And every Sunday, I put together my son Tyson Thompson's medications for the week. Tyson received a liver and a kidney transplant June 2nd of 2014. So he's just a little more than six months out from a cadaver donor. And every week I have a regiment of medications. Tyson is doing very well. Tyson is 15. He actually had his 14th birthday there at Georgetown University Hospital. And in some future and upcoming videos, I will share some photos as well as some video clips because he went into the hospital on June the, no, sorry, it was February the 14th that it was a winter storm and we actually went to Bethesda Naval Hospital and they actually transferred him to Georgetown Hospital and at that time didn't really know that they thought that his he was bleeding internally and it was coming out in black stool and his kidney actually took a hit and was on um, transplant I mean not transplant but um, kidney dialysis for a while so some of the medications that you'll see here are medications that he'll definitely be on for the rest of his life like Celsep as well as um, what's the other one Celsep and Prograph um, that he takes twice a day and he is in high school and is adjusting very well along with that um, the kidney was a hypertensive kidney so he he has to drink at least two liters of water every day and imagine trying to get a 14 year old 15 year old rather to drink two liters of soda water every day but the alternative is not well let me say this he we almost lost him twice and to have him here even having to do this every day is, an, is a blessing truly so the next clip you'll see is um, some of his medications and the regimens that he has to be on. He actually takes medications five, maybe six times a day. This is just one of the containers that I use. This is the container that I use to fill his medications. He has to... This three times a week. His medications here. Everything that's in there. That's his blood, the Lantus program. I'm sure anyone who is a uh, is a transplant recipient, they know about these different medications. So, so he has to take magnesium. And all the things that's in this container. And even have a peel crusher. All of this. So I have to do this. Once a week to make sure, because these are his medications, again, that he will probably be taking for the rest of his life. 